Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Polarities mod. And as you can see, I have once again moved my base to a new location, which I believe makes this the third time that I have went and packed up everything I own and moved it to another part of the world to build another collection of shoeboxes to stuff all of my lovely friends in. And this one might end up being a little bit more permanent. But, you know, as you can see, it's, it's got all the amenities inside. Got all of our magic storage set up now, which I was able to do, thanks to some of the gems that I had. These chests are empty now. There's no point in those even being there anymore. Not that you even got to see this little collection of boxes be built. We got all the necessary things in here. It's gonna be a little bit more permanent of a temporary domicile, if that makes any sense. The permanent temporary domicile. That's what this is. That's what we're gonna call this little box hotel right here. In the last episode, when we last spoke, I was just about ready to get started building a base in the ocean, but I did not have all that much luck with it because my beach ended up being very, very tiny and there was not a whole lot there to uh, to build with, to work with, you know? So I had to make some adjustments, went and tore down the desert over here and, uh, you know, where is it? I, right here. I think this is where the desert was. Now it's just a big open pit, but whatever. The sand was used for good purposes. So you know what? The Terraria environmentalists out there, you can't be mad at me because I recycled the biome. It's fine. It's totally fine. You guys should be really happy with me. Don't tell the Dryad. Yes, when we left off, we were going to build a base over there in the ocean. Didn't have much of a beach, but we achieved something that day. We no-hitted King Slime, which you know what? Is a really silly thing to be proud of because it's just King Slime, but I've never patted myself on the back for killing him before. So thank you, Polarities, for allowing me to do that. And I got this awesome weapon, which I have no ammo for, because unlike the last Let's Play, I did not spend several hours of my time collecting 50,000 gel trying to get a slime staff that I replaced in like two episodes. Anyways, I will get some gel for this eventually. We're about due for a slime rain here soon. I haven't gotten one yet, though I don't know if my chances will be reduced since I've actually defeated King Slime now. I don't think that it really matters, though. We'll get one eventually. Hopefully I can find a statue. That'd be really awesome. I can hook that up and get started farming that, but we have a new friend here. As you can see, he's been floating around down here. His name is Harper. He is um allergic to houses, I get, because he does live up here. The ghost writer is what he is. Uh, I get it. It's, it's, it's a pun, right? Is that what it is? Is he an author? Ivan is such a jerk. Finally, a person who understands it. A person. Is a ghost a person? Would you count that as a person? I would count it as a person. You're all people to me. Except for this thing. It's gross. That's not people. That's, that's target dummy. Anyways, what do you got to sell? You've got a book. Awesome. Okay, so I can make some of those other things in here, those little uh, magical spell books eventually, like the Halocline right there, or Ocean Sky, whatever that is. We'll get there eventually. Strange Obituary makes you die in one hit. Does not count as a book buff. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pass on that. I don't need any help dying. I can do that just fine on my own. And the Sliming grants a double jump. Wait a minute. So I can... Okay, first of all, I, I get that that's a reference to a real book, so that's, that's really funny. Ghost Rider. I get it. Wow. The mod devs got crazy puns. And I appreciate that. I really do. The effort. 10 out of 10. But, you know, that's really cool. So I guess I can use this as, as a buff. Kind of like the Vampified Scroll in uh, the last Let's Play. Or like the books in there or whatever that you could just, I guess, little temporary buffs. It's kind of expensive for a, a 5 gold for a double jump. Would that give me, like, quadruple jump? Because that'd be pretty neat. I, I couldn't, that that would be worth the five gold there. I think I might have to do that. Also, I love the way that the hat for the party hat here is just kind of bobbing up and down on this person's head whenever it, whenever they move. Is that all you say? I want to go home. My ability to touch things is very inconsistent. Yeah, I, I can see that. You can not touch houses, but you can touch the ground. Do you have any book recommendations? I'm always looking for new things to read. Is that all you say? You literally have nothing else to say. All right, fine. I guess you got nothing else to say. Whatever. That's cool. Anywho, let's go take a look at this beach I've kind of sort of constructed here. Oh, wait. One of those things. Hold on a second. There was something that I was told that I could do with this thing that involved the bug net. Can I do it now? Yes, I can. I can pick it up. Snake hat. I was told that I can pick these things up whenever they've got half health left. Or maybe it's full. I don't I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to what its health was at. But I was told I could pick them up. And I can. Snake hat. There we go. Look at that. Now that is excellent. I think that is a fair trade for the top hat right there. What does this thing say? Vanity item? Is this a vanity item? It is a material, though. Makes the sea snake hat or the rocket snake? Excuse me? That's equipable? And I 
can make it right now, it looks like. I just need iron. Uh, okay. Sure, let's put it in there make a rocket snake. There it is. Let's grab it. What does it do? Oh! Oh! Ho ho ho! Oh, that is cool. That is really nice. I think I've found my forever friend for this Let's Play. What is it riding on? A rocket snake is following you. That is so silly. Anyway, here's the beach ocean that I created here to build my base in. Got a nice beach right here. Got a smaller area, sort of shallower water, which is gonna be exactly that. It's gonna be shallow water. I'm gonna decorate it eventually. And I might even make this part even deeper. I might not have it stop right here. I might just keep going down and down and down until I've got myself like an abyss almost. And that I will put my base inside of. And I think that'll look really cool. Make a nice underwater base. Little collection of like tunnels or something, like subnautica -y or something like that. Subnautica-y? Subnautic-ish? Something like that. You know what I mean. That's what we're going for. Might get around to doing that eventually, but like I said, it's kind of hard to move around in there. So we're going to get around to that eventually later on. Maybe closer to hard mode. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe I didn't say that. I don't know. I was thinking it. But yeah, we'll get to that eventually. Right now, on the agenda, we got some stuff to go do. I have yet to receive my Hermes boots, and I would like to remedy that before I fight the next boss, which is going to be the Storm Cloud Fish. And I need to collect some worms, and what else did it need? I need some clouds. So I actually need to get up into the sky. And I have no gravitation potions. So that is also another thing in need of remedying, which I do intend to do. Gonna hopefully try to find another way down underground and maybe some caverns or something like that. I've got a little area started over here, but it goes nowhere. So maybe I will go over to the ice biome, maybe? Go check that place out. Anywhere that'll take me down to chests that may contain gravitation potions. That's... That's really what my target is right now. I, I, I'm i not picky. I don't care. As long as it leads me to loot, I'm fine going down it. Which, you know what, leads me to a lot of trouble. As long as what's at the bottom does not exclusively, and I must stress this, Terraria, okay? As long as what is at the bottom is not exclusively explosive traps, dart traps, and boulder traps, I'm fine with it. But that's my condition. Okay, that's my condition. Heavy on the loot, light on the death. Right now, I'm just trying to see if I can find some kind of a way down. There's gotta be a cave somewhere because there's a lot of openings. I mean, something's gotta be here, right? Like, like anything at all. What? Excuse me? Was that a worm? What was digging? Something was digging. Huh, okay, whatever. That's a little bit strange. Uh, kind of sounded like a worm or something was digging around, but okay, whatever, I, I won't question it. Uh, let's go look around the remains of the desert. There could be some good stuff there, right? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just have to dig a pit straight down myself. Just manually do it, and hopefully I find something. Oh, wait. What do we got here? Kind of looks like a way to nowhere. There we go. See? Popular direction. Terraria loves to go that way. We're going to be coming up on the crimson here soon. I'm very sure of that. I think I can see it right up there in the mini-map, so... Eh, whatever. I feel like I am sufficiently powerful enough to survive the Crimson. I say as I get hit for like a third of my health by one monster. It's fine. It's whatever. I knew what I was getting into when I walked this way. You know what? I could probably find a reasonable way down inside the Crimson. So maybe we'll go that way. It's a rough detour. But you know what? There's going to be a way down over here. Here we go. Let's go inside and do that. Because why not? What Let's Play of mine would be complete without the inevitable falling to my death because I'm an idiot? I wanted to walk all the way back. It's fine. I enjoyed that. Where's my nurse? Where is she? It's missing a table. It does not actually contain any housing elements at all. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, I almost entirely forgot that I got enough palm wood to make one of these right here, this brood staff. I wanted to craft it. And, wow, okay, that's decent. Okay, godly, not bad. I think that might be a nice improvement over the Zombat Staff. But we got that, and I wanted to make this Rattle Staff just to see what it did. It's adept. We'll take a look at that stuff real quick. I just have to make a table. Okay, now it's got a table. Is it suitable housing for a nurse yet? There we go. Okay, it's totally fine. Anyways, hey, look, a target dummy. Let's try out this Rattle Staff. See what it does. Oh, that's not bad. Nice. So what, is that, is that like little bubbles? Are they like eggs? 
What is that? It's very slow attack. It's not auto fire. But uh, you know what? It doesn't use all that much uh, mana. Might be a reasonable thing to use. I pretty much maxed this out already. There we go. Let's make another one. I think I only need one more then. And I should have maxed out mana. So I could really use this if I wanted to. Did those linger or do they go away? Yeah, they go away. Okay. Well, that doesn't look too bad though. You know what? I could, uh, I could survive with that thing. What about this brood staff? What does it do? Okay. Well, I mean, I figured it was going to do that. Oh my god. That thing, like, really whacked that thing. Okay, come on over. Do it again. Wow. It's got some serious knockback, and it does a decent amount of damage. Just, you know, not so great for flying enemies. Enemies on the ground, beware. Is it going to attack that thing? At all? There we go. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a delay in between the attacks, so I can't just keep spawning it on top of mobs and waiting for them to die. Okay, whatever. That's kind of cool to look at. I like it. I can have a little snake minion. Might end up using the Zombat Staff, though, because, like I said, I'm not sure how it's going to work on flying enemies. Probably not so well. It looks more like a sentry than an actual summon. Oh, well, and nice to have new things, I suppose. I now have the power of snakes on my side. I got one flying around me, and I can summon them as weapons and shoot their eggs. Whatever this is. If anybody has any idea at all whatsoever what that is, by all means, please let me know, because I will be forever curious otherwise. Ha! Ah, almost did it twice, I swear to God. I forget how deep this pit is. I don't normally have crimsons that drop straight down like this. This is, like, really weird. It's a crimson that's shaped like a corruption. Very strange. Lots of life crystals in here, so that's good. I might as well grab some weapons while I'm down here. I mean, that wasn't my original plan, but you know what? If I'm in the area, what's the harm? If I'm gonna be no-hitting monsters, I should, uh, try to have a little bit of variety here, and I've got no bombs. Never mind. As it turns out, believe it or not, I will in fact not be doing anything. Unless I find some bombs in these things, which, I mean, is possible. If I don't get murdered by everything first. Which is also possible. Take my rattle staff. Yeah, that's right. You thought I was shooting balls at you in the last episode. Now I can shoot a line of balls at you. There you go. Once again, Ball Man has found another ball weapon. Also, I believe that that's the first time I've ever referred to myself as that. That's a Discord thing, for those of you that might not be in there. And if you're not in the Discord, why not? You know? Why not? If you were in the Discord, you would have got that joke. Just one of the many things that you're missing out on in life. By not being in the Discord. Hit balls! Balls! Do none of these contain bombs, really? Is that is that the way that it's gonna be, huh? Also, I'm very close to... Ooh, 200 health. And I should probably be careful with that, because then the Eye of Cthulhu is going to show up, and then it's going to force progression on me, and I'm not ready for that kind of commitment. I'll get there when I get there, at my nice, slow, pixelated pace. I don't know! Ah. You know, you can see my action bar up there, my hotkeys. You see that I tried to save myself, but it didn't work. All right, fine, I get it. Whatever, Crimson, I understand. Was a mistake to go there. Oh, there's got to be some way that I can get down here. I'm going to spend the entirety of this episode just running around trying to find my way into the underground from over here. I guess I could go down the pit that I was already in, and maybe I could find another way around. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some bombs. Let me make sure I don't actually have any already before I go buy a whole bunch. There we go. See if there is anything at all new that I can make. So now I will take my bombs. I'm going to go back down to the cave that I would already started digging in. And see if I can open up an area. Because I'm going to need to build a elevator anyway. Obviously, I'm not going to do it all the way over there. But, you know, i got to go down that way anyway. Oh god, this was a mistake! All I wanted to do was see if there was a water candle down there. Maybe a water bolt. Fine. Whatever stupid spinning skeleton face... Whatever thing. What a stupid book, anyway. Stupid book. Shoots water. Pfft. Wizard shoots bolts made of water. What are you, Katara? Stupid spinning headed nerd. Oh my god, I forgot how wet this area was over here. Just an enormous amount of water. Like, look at this. I swear to god, 99% of what is on this screen right here is just it's it's just water. A little bit of dirt in there. There's there's dirt and stone in places, but it's primarily water. I say that complaining about the water like I'm not going to be building a base entirely underwater later. Whatever. Never mind that. Okay, so we're back at the area that I was at before. 
As you can see, I also gave up here because of water. So I suppose... Okay, that sounds like a skeleton over there, which means there's an opening somewhere. I wonder if I can kind of see a little bit here. I don't have anything that shoots through walls, unfortunately. Um, whatever. Let's uh, just start throwing bombs in random directions. That usually works well. There we go. Nice. Let's just keep throwing them. Oh, wait, there's an opening right there. I think I might have found my way down. Nice. Look at that. The power of explosives. Wow, would you look at that? The power of leading to nowhere. Amazing. Who saw that coming? Oh, wait. I think there might still be hope here. There we go. This is looking promising. Looking a little less promising as we go, but hey, we're getting there. Like, now, what did I tell you, Terraria? Did you see that? That looked a lot like a boulder trap. I told you I didn't want to see any of that down here. Okay, there's enough rocks. I don't need rocks falling on my head. Enough of that. Well, I mean, I guess I can go this way. There's some silt over here. That's handy. Looks like a whole lot of nothing this way, but we're working our way around. We're getting there. Here we go. Take that bat. Bop you right in the face. Now, there's gotta be something somewhere. We're going back to the bombs. I can hear all the, you know, in between, like, around the corners here. There's gotta be something. An open area around some corner. And I'm out of torches again. Really? Do slimes, like, not exist whenever you need torches? Like, has anybody else ever had that problem before? I feel like every episode as well. I kind of have a moment where I'm just like, you guys ever have this insert thing that happens to everybody that plays this game. But you ever feel like the slimes are just like, whenever you're out of torches, you just can never find any slimes. And then as soon as you've got more torches than you know what to do with, slime rain every other day. Well, you know, now'd be a really good time to find a, my good old buddy, uh, Bones, whatever his name is, I really don't remember. Or like literally anything at all, any, any torches, anywhere at all. I got a flare gun, how about that? That'll work, right? I threw it in the trash, never thought it'd be useful. All right, fine, we will explore that way. And there is a worm, I'll grab that because I'm gonna need those later. Okay, I hear the splats and I see the numbers flying up everywhere, so that's that's a good sign, right? Well, I mean, it might not be like the best sign ever, but it's definitely a sign of something happening. That's good, there's a skeleton over there. Did they drop torches? I can't remember. That actually does a decent amount of damage, I gotta say. I really wasn't expecting that to be all that great, but you know what, it's not bad. I might end up using that thing after all. Ah, God, I'm stuck. I was, I, okay, I'm fine. Why did it turn blue? Where am I at? What, what is this? What biome does it think I'm in? Oh, it's another salt biome. Okay. I wonder if I can go fishing in here. The water changes, so clearly it's a different biome. I wonder if there's anything new. I might as well while I'm down here. I mean, I, I would like to have torches ideally, but you know what? Maybe I'll actually find something of value over here. Hey, there's our art crystal. There we go. That's a nice sign going in the right direction here. We're over 200 health, though. Well, we're at 200 health, I guess. So that's that's not really good. We're going to probably start getting assaulted by the Eye of Cthulhu. And like I said, I'm not really ready for the Force Commitment. We're being assaulted by the bugs right now. I just want to go this way. Can I go to the left? Am I allowed to go to the left? My God, can I please not have to deal with the bugs? The bugs are going to be the death of me. Go ahead. Come on, brine flies. Let's go. Yep, yep. Bring it on. Let's have some more. Jeez, another brine fly banner. Hooray. I'll just stand here and I'll just whack them. Whatever. Never get out of this biome because the flies won't stop spawning. Oh, God. The flies are even chasing me out of the biome now. And would you look at that immediately upon nightfall, you feel an evil presence watching you. Of course I do. Well, you know what? Like I said, forced progression. I would really rather not deal with the Eye of Cthulhu right now. I'd rather deal with the Storm Cloudfish first because, you know, progression. But I guess he's going to show up whether I want him to or not. I swear, do I not have any gravitation potions? You know what? I, I went and did all that for no reason at all whatsoever. You know, imagine how that makes me feel. Pretty dumb. Yep, pretty dumb. Well, I guess the Eye of Cthulhu is going to show up. Um, I'm not gonna deal with him. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. I'm gonna let him spawn in and kill me, and then we're gonna move on. Hey, guys, would you look who's here? Look who's here, guys! It's the Eye of Cthulhu! Yay! Nice to see ya! How about I bounce on you? How about I bounce, huh? Let's bounce on you into orbit. Remember this whole strategy here? This is fun, right? This is a great time. What if I blend them? I just blend them every time I land on them. There we go. Nice. Could I no-hit him doing this? Because this is kind of hilarious if I can. There we go. Keep charging towards me. Uh-oh, God. Okay, there the little guys are after me now. And we're going to fall back down. And I might be in trouble. Oh, God. There we go. Bounce. What if I actually killed him this way? It'd be kind of funny. I am going to die now, though. 
Oh, God, I'm in trouble. Wait, land in the water. Ha! I am totally fine. I may actually end up killing him after all. This is kind of silly. There we go. Look at that. Oh, my God. I'm, like, melting right through him. That is insane. There we go. Let's murder him. Let's, you know what? Or fall to my death. You know what? That's the second time now, and it happened for a dumb reason. I should have done that over the ocean. Then I would have been fine. I would have actually killed him. Well, whatever. I, I did say I didn't originally plan to fight him, but to be honest with you, if I'm going to no-hit uh, bosses, that extra mobility from his shield would have definitely been nice. Thinking about the goblin invasion as well, but that may end up being the next episode's thing. Right now, we're going to go up into space. We're going to go hunting down some, uh, I guess, whatever's up there. Well, honestly, just going to go hunting down some sky islands. Seeing if I can find some. Maybe I can find some clouds. Uh, I don't remember exactly where their placement is. I know that they can be out here this far sometimes, but I'm pretty sure that in medium worlds, they spawn closer to the spawn. Or at least closer to the center of the map. There's got to be at least one somewhere, though, right? We'll find it eventually. We will track one down, and hopefully there's some good stuff on it. I would not mind, like, a balloon or something. That'd be pretty sweet. It didn't specify exactly when I had to fight this thing, did I? No, it just said on the surface, so okay, that's fine. I can do that. Grab a whole bunch of clouds, and then I guess build an arena for it, as I imagine I'm probably going to need one. Storm Cloudfish. I'm assuming that it flies. That is, that's pretty much the only thing I know about it. That, and then I'm very sure that it's a fish. Okay, well, good news and bad news. The bad news is I have not found any Sky Islands. The good news is I have found Harpies. Which, I mean, hooray, right? So glad I found them. And I can't get rid of them. I literally cannot shake them. I need to, like, go back down to the surface real quick here for a second just to, like, avoid them. This far away, though, not a single Sky Island. Am I crazy? Like, where are they all at? I'm, like, literally back at spawn, and I still have not found one. Is there, like, one directly above my base? Let me find out that there is. That'll be so silly. Maybe they'll all be right next to each other. If there's none on the right side, then what? There has to be, like, three or four on the left? Of course it is. I pick the side where the jungle is the farthest away from. There are no open pits down into the underground. I've got a dinky ocean and not one single sky island. Of course. Boy, I picked the winning side. Maybe I ought to let you guys decide that from now on as well, you know? Because evidently I make bad choices with everything. I was going to build a base in the desert. What was I thinking? I'll let you guys pick which side of the world I explore first. Do I go left or do I go right? Find out on the next episode of Pixelated Ball Z. Okay, well, we're in new territory now, so I might as well just go walking around over here a bit, see what I can find. Anything of note, hopefully. Something nice. Hopefully a little bit less harpies this way. That'd be preferable. A little less harpies, a little more Sky Island. Oh, was that one right there? I think I zoomed past some clouds. There we go. What did we find? There we go. We got one. Finally. Let's see what you got inside. Hopefully something real nice. What do you got? A Star Fury. Of course it is. And a worm on a balloon. Huh. Okay. Well, that saves me a little bit of trouble. Okay. Not bad. Got a Sky Mill as well. That's good. Uh, I need to grab some clouds. Let's not forget about that. We'll just vein mine this whole thing. Evidently, I already had it set to vein mine, so I, that's that's weird, but okay. Great minds think alike, I suppose. Me, myself, and I always come up with the best ideas. There we go. Okay, well, that's great. Come on in, Harpy, I guess. That's fine. This was going to be my hole in the side of the mountain. Get back. No, die. God, okay. Bye-bye. I'm done. See you later. Got enough clouds. Had enough of that. Uh, let's deposit some of this stuff. We got plenty of clouds. Does it do anything else? Aerogel? Okay, interesting. What's this? Flywheel. Okay, I need something called Storm Chunks. Cloud Flare Bow. Okay, I'm assuming that these... Yes, okay, well, there we go. Storm Cloudfish. It is a fish. And it drops a whole bunch of stuff, it looks like. Okay, cool. We'll look at that stuff later. Well, later is in, like, very soon. Okay, I can make a couple of these. We'll grab a few more clouds in a balloon. Or, yeah, clouds in a balloon. Worms in a balloon. Ooh, there's a Storm Chicklin. Can I grab it? Yes, I can. And it makes clouds. Okay. How does that work? You want to explain that to me, mod developers, if you end up watching this? Uh, how do I squeeze the clouds out of a flying fish? And why can I not do that with the regular flying fish? Is there lore for that? I'm assuming there is. Right there it is. I can just, I just poof, and then I have clouds. That is a horrifying thing to imagine myself doing. I gotta be honest with you. That is terrifying. 
Alright, well anyways, now that I've got myself some worms on a balloon and I have basically invalidated the first, like, 20 minutes of this whole expedition, going around over there looking for an entrance to a cave that didn't exist to find potions I already had, whatever. Now that we've got all that stuff finally, we can, I guess, give this storm cloud fish an attempt, which would be really awesome if I could actually succeed. I know nothing about him, so I don't know if I'm gonna need an arena or not. Uh, I'm gonna stay very far away from that, because that'd definitely ruin everything. I might use my Alkaline Rain, because like I said, I'm assuming that it's gonna be a flying boss. So, maybe this one would be the best to use against him. Maybe grab some archery potions as well. I got a couple of those. I don't know. Let's just spawn him in. Um, let's bring out... Where is it? I know that I got it in here somewhere. Do I not have the Zombat Staff in there anymore? Where are you? Did I put it away? Oh yeah, one of the four that I have. Nice, okay. We'll bring these out. Maybe it might help. Maybe it'll just get in the way. I don't know. We're just gonna try everything. Hopefully it goes well. What better time to fight the storm cloudfish than during the rainstorm? This is a wide open, flat enough space. Shouldn't be too bad. Got lots of room to maneuver. Well, let's bring him on. And there it goes. Float up into the sky. That's actually really cool. Nice. There we go. But you're a really tiny fella, aren't you? Ah, God, you charge, don't you? Ah, God, what is this? What, what, what? Oh. Oh, you made a little arena to be inside of, and you rain on me like an angry nimbus. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. This is kind of not working so great. Maybe I ought to use my rattle staff. Something like that. This guy's going to be a little trickier to no hit. I'm thinking maybe some platforms up there? I don't know if the slime mount would help me at all. Dashing definitely would, so I think I might try to do that after the Eye Cthulhu. And maybe some rocket boots as well. Oh, okay. Well, that's new. I did not uh, did not expect that to happen. So you've got some lightning powers. Who thought that was going to happen? Anybody else get surprised by that plot twist? I did. Uh, how do I avoid that? Ah, okay. Yeah, an arena is definitely going to be good for this. I might not even be able to do this. What is with that ability? Oh, my God. Okay, that, there's definitely a trick to that. What's he doing now? Where did he go? What's happening? Okay, he just went underground. I got a little scared there for a second. I was like, okay, great. When the boss disappears off camera, never is that a good thing. Never. Oh, God. Okay, down. It looks like I can kind of avoid it if I'm up in the air a little bit. Impossible to do it here. Hey, uh, hey, nurse. Nurse, can I uh, borrow you for a second? Thanks, appreciate it. Call me cheesy if you want, but I am going to no-hit this eventually, so I'm going to have to be a pro gamer eventually. Pretty simple boss, though. I like it, but, you know, a little simple. Not bad. I just, I don't really think I even needed to heal with the nurse. I'm having some trouble actually hitting this guy. Maybe I should have built an arena. There we go. Took him right down, and he explodes into storm cloud chicklets. Can I capture these? I can. What do they make? Oh, they make storm chunks. Of course they do. And I was just blowing them out of the sky without a second thought. Great. Okay, well, let's throw these in here, and I guess we will probably fight them a few more times, honestly. I will definitely build an arena for them, though, without a doubt. Probably just some simple platforms or something. That would work out pretty good. Okay, got ten of that. Any come out of his treasure bag? Yes, it does. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we'll throw that in there. Some clouds. I've got a storm core. Attract schools of friendly cloudfish while at the surface, gradually filling up your available minion slots. Okay, I don't know why I read it like that. My minion slots! So it's kind of a summon weapon. Or item, I guess. It's not bad. Let's get rid of the Zombat Staff. So I have to accumulate them on the surface? Oh, okay. Here they are. My available minion slots. Do I have four? Or does it only count for, like, one? It's a material. I can make the Lightning Core eventually once I get some Soul of Smite and Polarized Bar. Interesting. Very, very interesting. There is a lot of them as well. Okay, whatever. That is really cool. I might use that eventually. We got Skyhook, attaches the air instead of solid blocks, not to be confused with a space elevator. Well, I mean, that is... Whoa, okay, that is cool. Oh, bye-bye, guys. I'm going to space now. Am I going to fall off if I let it go? No, I can just grapple the air. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. I like that. You've got me now. You've I'm sold. It looks like I can still very much die, though. So it doesn't work against uh, this. This is like the anti-hook. This is really trippy to use. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. These guys spawn on the surface now? Naturally? Okay. So I guess I don't even need to fight him again to get more of this stuff. Well, I definitely want to make this set. Storm cloud set? It looks like a minion set. Need rain clouds for it, though. Hmm. But what does this uh, expert drop as well? I'm playing around with everything but, like... What he gave me. Precise storm scales. Increases defense and decreases enemy aggro at low health. Interesting. I mean, that could be good for defense. Not so great for no-hitting, though, unfortunately. 
Well, let's put the trophy up right there. Can I make anything at all out of the things that he gave me, though? I can make the Cloud Flare Bow. Fires arrows from around the player. Uh, I can definitely make that. And I can make the Flywheel, I think. Can I? No, I need Rain Clouds. Should have grabbed some of those while I was up there. I didn't even think to check. I don't suppose I can make Rain Clouds on any of these, can I? I can. I just need a Sky Mill. Okay, where is it? I know I have one. Good thing I double-checked that before I went running up to that Sky Island on the other side of the map. Thanks, World Gen. And now I can make the Flywheel. Very nice. We got a few new weapons to look at. Oh, and there's a uh, strange barometer as well. I can toggle the rain. Skies begin to clear. The skies begin to cloud over. Very nice. I'll be holding on to that for sure. It does not look like I have enough of these things left to make the set here. I can make a couple of pieces of it, but not the whole thing. I can grab the mask and I can grab the greaves. Just need the chest. Definitely gonna make it though. Eh, I suppose I could just hang around here in the rain and wait for more of those little chicklids to spawn, but eh. Why not? Let's fight the guy again. Whatever. I got a few more worms on a balloon. Let's build up an arena here. We could try out some of these new weapons on him. The Cloud Flare Bow. Um, fires arrows from around the player? Maybe I have to do it on contact. That's probably what it is. I didn't even check to see if the NPCs here had anything new. Should check Harper out. Got anything new for me? You do. Maws. I get that reference. That's good. Make rain fall above you. How does that work? I've got to give that a try. Oh, it's, like, permanent. Okay. So this thing is, like... Okay, I like that. That is that is pretty cool. I can hardly see it at all in the actual rain outside here, but that's pretty cool. I like that. I also didn't know that they were permanent as well. Could I get, like, a quadruple jump? Oh, my God. Okay, hold on a second. I'm getting sidetracked by a whole bunch of stuff here. What else is new, though? I mean, let's be honest. Let's take a look at this flywheel, though. Does it do anything special? We're gonna find out. Okay, I'm gonna build myself some platforms, probably, like, up over here, because it's got a lot of space. And then I'm gonna try to fight this storm cloud fish again. And hopefully, maybe I'll attempt to no-hit it, maybe not. Either way, I'm gonna get some good stuff from him. Ah, God, don't kill him all this time. I gotta catch him. Come on, come back. Ah! There we go. Okay, we got him. What else did I get? Interesting. Storm Row. Okay, so I got some new stuff there. Um, I really don't get a lot of his abilities. Like, some of the stuff I kind of understand, but the whole random lightning shooting out and a whole bunch of, like, spiderweb in different directions there, I'm very confused about that. So, no hitting that is gonna be a little trickier. I might have to try at it for a while or make a gigantic arena, one or the other. We'll get there eventually. But yeah, got something new. Storm Row. A tiny start for such a large creature. Okay, that's cool. Aw, it's so ferocious. It certainly is. However, it is no rocket snake, so unfortunately, as cool as it looks, gotta put it back in there. Storm chunks, more barometers, clouds, more scales. Jagged, that's better, right? There we go. Let's put all that stuff in there. Let's make the armor set. That's what we really want. So I need the armor. Very good. Let's throw it all on there and see what it does. Look at that. What, 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 what is this set? I've got an orb on my head. They were like, you know what, just make the armor look like it already does, like everywhere else, but you know what, for the head, I got it. Orb. Beautiful. It's perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way. So what does this do? It is a minion set, we know that. Summons clouds to drench your foes, increases your max number of minions. So now I can have an enormous amount of these things out everywhere at all times. Also, I can have many snakes. Can I not? No, I can just have one of those. Is this thing a sentry? Is that what this is? It doesn't say that it is, but I have a feeling that it is. Okay, so I can have four of these now, so that's pretty cool. I guess I'm a summoner again, would you look at that, at the beginning of the mod, just like the split mod. Probably not gonna be one forever, but you know, we'll hold on to this for a while. We'll keep the Howl tight set, just in case. It is definitely going to make exploring in water a lot easier, but we'll hold on to it. Not as interesting though, unfortunately, but you know what, we'll hold on to it anyway. Okay, well I'm not exactly sure I could properly no-hit a boss that moves that quickly like, pretty much at the speed of the uh, Aya Cthulhu without having Hermes boots or, like, a shield dash. Even with the proper arena setup, I could try to do something with ice blocks, but the speed increase really isn't that great. I mean, it's a nice little bit of extra mobility, but, you know, it's, it's nothing compared to how fast I'd be moving with Hermes boots. So, unfortunately, I think I'm not gonna try to attempt a no-hit in this episode. I'm probably gonna do that in the next episode. We will fight the Aya Cthulhu, maybe the Goblin Army as well. I don't know. We're going to push past it a little bit here. We'll get there, though. We will get there eventually. I'm going to do all of them, for sure, no matter how long it takes me. But I'll get there. But with that, I think I am going to call it an episode here. We ran around and did a whole bunch of nothing in the beginning. 
poked around a little bit inside the crimson, also found a whole bunch of nothing, and uh, flew through the sky. We found a worm on a balloon up there, so you know what? I'd say that's progress. We have a lot of fish friends, and uh, and I've got an orb on my head now, so I mean that's that's really good. Got a rattlesnake staff. I can shoot more balls at enemies. You know what? I'd say that's a victory. Today we made some progress. Ten out of ten. Good job. Pat myself right on the back. But anyways, yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to be calling an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.